They've been talking the talk. It's now time. He is. This bout is scheduled for 12 rounds of boxing. One of the hottest tickets around. It's standing room only for this, our main event. This is going to be the fight. <laughs> Razor's been in so many hellacious battles over the years. The trilogy with Muhammad Ali, his fights against George Foreman, a true legend. Good left hook. When someone punches that hard, you don't want to trade shots. The greatest head. Muhammad Ali is down. Do you believe it? Everything looks better in slow motion. Let's take another look. says they can continue, but how much more do they have left? Hard, he's up. I'd be surprised if he makes it back to the corner. And if he does, will he get back up on the stool again? That is a shot. They won't give us a second to catch our breath. Joe Frazier shocked Muhammad Ali in their first fight, but then, of course, Ali came back and won their second and third fights. Can Frazier equal things up here in this one? Again. But they can get... Ali is down! As we take another look, you can see it. The up halfway through the round here so this fight will continue but how can they get back into this bout the corner needs to think nice and sharp they know their fight they know what their fight is capable of doing and what their fight can and cannot take this is gonna be a tough decision to make gonna look at his corner look for his structure they're telling him to calm down make the most of the count get up breathe and move get behind the referee save yourself a bit of time you just need to make your way back to the corner somehow get to the end of the round firepower from both of these heavyweights. You don't want to go tit for tat in there in this fight. That hook just can't find the target. Final 10 seconds here, and I think he knows who's won this round. Let's talk about Ali in that last round. The corner hasn't thrown in the towel yet, so I guess he's coming out for another round. And there's the bell to start the round. They barely survived the last round after two knockdowns. Let's see what happens here. I have no idea what they have left. What? How? How do you come back then? Come back? What a price? Where's your head at? Where's your energy levels at? It tells you you've got nothing left. This fighter has been described as a swarmer, that fighter who attempts to overwhelm their opponent by applying constant pressure. You find the swarmer, you've got to protect everything. The body with the elbows, the head with the forearm. You've got to try and push them off balance because they will just stay in your face. They are not going to let this one go to the judges. That hook just can't find the target. We've seen this fighter in the past go 12 rounds and not have a mark on their face. That's what happens when you stick and move 
You hit and you don't get hit. Todd, this is what it's all about. Hit and don't get hit. Jab, move, pop, slip. Use your footwork. Drive your opponent crazy. Back and forth they go in this round. The momentum continues to shift. Lucky that hook didn't score. Skill for skill, tap for tap. She's like a match made in heaven. Swing and a miss with the hook. The straight right just misses. They've got a big reach advantage here. Let's see if they can take advantage. I've done that before. Use your reach, use your speed. Frustrate the opponent. Make them make a mistake. Frazier being much more selective with his punches. <laughs> Tried to score with that hook, but missed. Just misses with that jab. This round's still up for grabs with just 10 seconds to go. They've got the momentum, they've got the advantage. How do they carry that into the next round? I seriously hope the judges kept their eye on this fight because if they haven't, there's going to be absolute uproar. Nice round. Good round. I like that. I'm happy. Good man. And here comes the legend Joe Frazier, Hall of Famer, all-time great. That round was complete domination. Let's see if we can shake things up here in this round. Todd, my muscle is, if it's not broken, why change it? An excellent last round, everything works. Wait for the reaction. Until then, keep doing what you've just been doing because you've won that hands down. They call it the glory division. There's nothing quite like a heavyweight fight. It doesn't take much to win it. You'd like to see someone use a jab here to establish a boxing presence, but no, they just want to fight. Not a lot of punch output. Thought there would be uh, some more action here. It's all offense all the time. One punch could end this fight for either of these two heavyweights. Sometimes when you get in there with someone that's so powerful, you've got to think him. You've just got to be smarter than him. You've got to be like a little fake and a pickpocket. <laughs> Tough to be a judge in this fight as both fighters have had their big moments. These two fighters are made for one another. A very close match. It shows the skill, the discipline, the respect both fighters have for each other because no one dare do anything out of turn. An icon of the sport. Here comes Frazier. Well, Johnny, we're in the early stages here. What have you seen so far? Now you've got two fighters that are absolutely shattered. What gets you through? Willpower. Calm, because if you panic, you get desperate. If you get desperate, you make mistakes. If you make mistakes, you get knocked out. Right hand, right on point. Nope, that jab not going to score. Do you believe what we are seeing? A very competitive round with 10 seconds left. You know that bell was...
was sweet music to his ears. Needs a knockout without a doubt. Needs to go out there and think, right, you know what? Next round, you're getting it. You're going to get a kitchen sink. Yes, I like that round. Good round. Feel good? Good man. Just get it. Set him up. But he'll take him out. He's ready to go. He's absolutely shattered. He's... Yeah. Frazier's been in so many hellacious battles over the years. The trilogy with Muhammad Ali. His fights against George Foreman. It has been all one-way traffic. How do they turn this around? This is one of those situations. You've just been hurt. You've got to get out there again. Be smart. Be sharp. Don't be a fool. Don't get sucked in. Make him fight your fight. Hold him. Tie him up just until your head clears again and your legs come back again. Because if you don't, he's going to pop you off. There's no way this fighter can go punch for punch. Their resistance to these blows just isn't the same. Because you've got a good chin doesn't mean you've got leather skin. It means you can still get caught. So you've got to go for these point areas over the eyebrow, the cheekbone. You've just got to try and cut them, skim and go for speed. Both men step back for just a moment. Scoring uppercut there. That jab doesn't find a home. Well, Johnny, we're a couple rounds in. What are you seeing so far? Let me explain to you about a fast fight, a fast fight that's got hand speed and footwork. They're relaxed, they're confident, they know they just have the quick burst, boom. In a split second, they've let four shots go. Their footwork has got them out of the way. And these guys are so relaxed. And th That's why they can maintain this all the way through a fight. What a round so far as we've reached the halfway point. Perfectly matched. Skill for skill. Tap for tap. Now this fight will say, you know what, I'm just that notch above you. And so I've got to respect both of them more than happy. Scoring hook. Who's willing to go where the other fighter won't? The winner of this surely will get a world title shot. Nice exchange here from both men. Needs to put some combination work together. One punch is good, two punch is better. Despite what the judges' scorecards read, there are no losers in this one. no doubt about who won that round. Dominance, without a doubt, made it look so, so easy. In the middle, can't miss it. Great work, stay focused. Great oh, work, I love that. I love that. That chap's slick. So just keep him again, don't change too much. We're hoping for an all-action slugfest. They've got all the momentum on their side after that last round. Let's see what they do here. Todd, my motto is, if it's not broken, why change it? An excellent last round, everything works. Wait for the reaction. Until then, keep doing what you've just been doing because you've won that hands down. You can't make a mistake at the heavyweight level and not expect to be punished for it. This fighter has been extremely aggressive so far, Johnny, but how do they keep it up over the distance of this fight? This is about ego. Get your ego in check, Todd, because if you fight a man that is used to doing this, he's confident and comfortable doing this, why are you giving him that chance to dance that dance? Step out of the way, box him, frustrate him, because if you let him get away with it, he'll close you down. Just missed with that hook. Not a lot of punch output. Thought there might be more action here. 
Throwing the hook, but it doesn't score. Can they figure out the combination to this thing? Well, Johnny, has anything surprised you here as we enter the final frames of this battle? This can be so frustrating when you remember such a fast fighter. Fast fighter that can throw three, four shot combinations before you've even let one up. That creates frustration, and that's when it gets hard. The bravery being shown here is just incredible. Joe Frazier, Olympic gold medalist, world champion. Swing and a miss with the jab. This is a Joe Frazier fight. You punch, I'll punch. We wanted action, and they are delivering. This is some of the best action I've seen in any round, any... You know the scorecards are going to be all over the place in this one. round let's see what he has for us here in the next one todd my motto is if it's not broken why change it an excellent last round everything works wait for the reaction until then keep doing what you've just been doing because you've won that hands down there's nothing quite like a big heavyweight fight everything can change with one punch what can they change? Can they slow the pace down? Can they hope to, to, to knock them out early? What can they do? They've got to concentrate and relax. Because you know what you can do in the gym. You can do it in a fight. They've got to relax. No rest for the weary. It's bombs away. And what do you think of this fight so far, Johnny? I've seen some aggressive fighters like this, and they are a nightmare. If you are not fit, if you are not fit, that is the worst place to be, having second thoughts in the ring. Swing and a miss with that hook. We're at the halfway point, and both of these fighters know the round is still up for grabs. They're so close, so close. How can you separate them? It's going to be a hard night tonight for the judges. Not a lot of punch output. Thought there might be more action here. They're both looking for the knockouts here, and that's what we expect from heavyweights. That power, that power might be the do or die. That power might be the, the equalizer. They are giving us a high-tempo show. Neither one of them want this to go to the judges' scorecards. Right hook won't score. Can't score with that jab. Very close round with 10 seconds to go. Pretty dominant 
round there. Let's see how they respond here in the next round. As long as they don't get complacent, you think this is too easy. If they keep this same kind of pace up, they've got this fight. Good work. They ring the bell, and here we go. After a really strong round, let's see if they can finish the job. Todd, my motto is, if it's not broken, why change it? An excellent last round, everything works. Wait for the reaction. Until then, keep doing what you've just been doing because you've won that hands down. There has been a significant aggression difference in this fight, Johnny. What do you see? Todd, look back in history. Sugar Ray Leonard against Roberto Duran. The first fight, Sugar Ray Leonard tried to fight, stand there toe to toe with him. The second fight, he thought, this guy's aggressive. He's nasty. He'll do everything to get the win. I've got to box him. I've got to frustrate him. I've got to humiliate him and show him how good a boxer I am. That's the only way you beat an aggressive fighter. Show him your boxing skills. Step out the way. Don't fight fire with fire. You claim the brain. Miss with that jab. The straight right just misses. And this is incredible action from both of these heavyweights. This fight a little bit closer than I think a lot of people thought. These are heavyweights, but I tell you what, that hand speed and footwork, they look like middleweights. What you've got to do, Toddy, is anticipation. You've got to wait. You've got to, you just got to throw caution to the wind and just hope. You're never going to know where the shots are coming from. You've just got to put in a guess. Beautiful counter punch. You'd like to see more jabs. They built a statue of Frazier in Philadelphia, one of the most popular athletes in Philadelphia history. Insane action! You gotta let your hands go a little bit. It's okay to be aggressive now. When are we going to see a jab from these two? This round could go either way. Ten seconds to go. Every time he throws a punch, a receipt is coming right back. Well, we know they've got the advantage so far, but how does this match get turned around? Dominance, without a doubt, made look so, so easy. Agreed. Listen to me. Breathe. Breathe. Frazier's been in so many hellacious battles over the years. The trilogy with Muhammad Ali. His fights against George Foreman. Coming off that great round, let's see if they can build on momentum here. Todd, my motto is, if it's not broken, why change it? An excellent last round. Everything works. Wait for the reaction. Until then, keep doing what you've just been doing because you've won that hands down. This fighter has determined that they can walk through any punches that their opponent throws, and that's a very confident spot to be in. Don't get trigger happy, because all of a sudden you're going to be gassing yourself out trying to get that shot, and that's when they catch you. Not a lot of punch output. Thought there would be uh, some more action here. You would not want to be hit by this guy, trust me. This fighter is sort of the death by a thousand paper cuts approach. He'll hit you a thousand times before you can land one. Having 
with so much speed, what happens to your opponent is you get cut to ribbons, and that's where the referee has to jump in and stop the fight. And you know this is going to happen, so you rush your work. You think, I've got to get him inside close rounds. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. Perfectly matched. Skill for skill, tap for tap. Now this fight will say, you know what, I'm just that notch above you. And so I've got to respect both of them more than happy. Just missed with that hook. Misses with the jab. This is the heavyweight division. One punch could end this fight. Now this is about desire. This is about character. This is about want. And that left hook doesn't find its target. These two were made for each other. Needs to put some combination work together. One punch is good, two punch is better. A very competitive round with 10 seconds left. Well, we're entering desperation mode here. Gonna need a knockout. Every second, every minute of this fight is important. Every second, every minute of this round is important. You cannot afford to... Come on. Facing Joe Frazier, who won gold at the 64 Olympic Games. Off their stools and ready to go. Let's hope this round is more competitive. That was a tough last round. Now you've got to make sure he doesn't put it on him. That's what he's going to try and do. So tie him up, hold him, lean on him. Don't get drawn into a fight. Not yet, not until your senses have come back. They hit like heavyweights, but they move like middleweights. Truly elite level stuff here. This could be really intimidating, Todd. If you know somebody's got the punch power, someone's got the speed, it can be intimidating. Just depends on how confident you are as a fighter. They both want a highlight reel knockout. Timing beats speed, speed beats power. You'd like to see more jabs. As we enter the final frames of this bout, Johnny, what have we seen so far? What a gift, what a gift it is to have a chin where right? you know you can walk through anything and everything. Then you let those shots go, and it's just bouncing up and they're walking you down. It's so demoralizing, it absolutely breaks your heart. What else can you do? I can't believe we're only halfway through the round. A very close match. It shows the skill, the discipline, the respect both fighters have for each other, because no one dare do anything out of turn. That hook just can't find the target. <laughs> Missing with that jab. Well, just a couple rounds left, Johnny. What's your assessment so far? Some fighters are just gifted. Gifted with such hand speed, footwork, movement. They are gifted. They are the chosen few. You don't want to stand and trade with Smoke and Joe. Not a lot of punch output. Thought there might be more action here. Despite what the judges' scorecards read, there are no losers in this one. He's got to do 
something different. The bell, sometimes it can be the sweetest sound. Working nice, but he's won two straight now. Frazier's been in so many hellacious battles over the years. The trilogy with Muhammad Ali, his fights against George Foreman, a true legend. Safe to say that last round was a nightmare. Let's see if we can turn it around here. They've had one minute to recover now. They've got to block it. They've got to block it. They've got to come out now and style it out. Get on the back foot, jab, rest on the jab. Be smart and pop until your legs come back. Then, put the pressure on. Perfect counter shot. Generally speaking, you don't watch heavyweights to see a boxing match. You want to see a fist fight. You've got to ruffle their feathers, Todd. You cannot let them get comfortable. Drag them. Get them complaining to the referee. Because once somebody with excellent foot speed and excellent power gets into the rhythm, the fight is over. You don't want to get into a battle of wills with Smoke and Joe. Frazier will fight you in the corner, off the ropes, or in the middle of the ring. They're both going for the KO. It's so obvious. The jab not finding its target. You gotta like what you're seeing as we reach the halfway point of this round. So far, it seems like aggression has been the key. This fighter just not slowing down. How do you deal with an aggressive fighter? What you do is you fight, fire with fight. You either give it them back because that's where they're comfortable, or you play calm, play cool. Gotta let your hands go a little bit. It's okay to be aggressive now. I don't think it's going to be a boxing match. This is going to be a fight. You've heard the phrase, finding a second win. I don't think I need to tell you which one of these fighters needs to find it. Midweight through the fight, if you are tired, this can be the loneliest place in the world. If you've cheated, now we're going to find out. That jab doesn't score. Both men step back for just a moment. Very close round with 10 seconds to go. The game plan does not seem to be working here. What's he have to do differently? You know, I've been in fights like that. When you're thinking, come on, Bell, ring away. You walk back to the corner like... Okay. And there's the bell to start the round. So the fight will continue. How do they turn things around? Now he knows he's been hurt. He's going to come up and put the pressure on. He's going to throw the kitchen sink at you. You've got to be ready for that. Don't fight fire with fire. Hold him off. Be smart because he's going to try and put you on the pressure. He knows your legs are gone. He knows your head's not clear. Be sharp. confidence do you build when your opponents hit you with their best shot and you walk right through? Oh, Todd, you know what? Sometimes when I've done the ring with fights like that and you punch them, you, them again, you want that spaceship to come and lift you out there because you think, what the hell am I going to do now? Someone tell these two that they can be defensive for a minute if they want to. Wanted to land the left hook, but was not successful. Well, Johnny, I know it's still early on, but have you been surprised by anything you've seen? What can they change? They can change their attitude. They can change their, their nervous system for a certain amount of punches per run. Because otherwise, if they deviate from the game plan, they're going to be shattered once again, and the fight will be over. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. Skill for skill, tap for tap. She's like a match made in heaven. The 
the straight right just misses. Just when you think they're going to have a roll in the action, we get it. Joe Frazier is in trouble. Just one punch away from turning his fortunes around. Defense, defense, defense is everything because they got shot once. They know they can get caught again. So for now, just defense. Work for defense. Blocking and stopping and shooting. Not a lot of punch output. Thought there might be more action here. This round's still up for grabs with just 10 seconds to go. Decided. What are we going to have in this round? Todd, my motto is, if it's not broken, why change it? An excellent last round. Everything works. Wait for the reaction. Until then, keep doing what you've just been doing because you've won that hands down. They call it the chin. How strong is your chin? Do you have a glass chin? These are things that can affect the fight. I've seen some fights with a granite chin. You can hit them with a sledgehammer. They are not going to move. But then I've seen some mad punches with a chin like a crust. As soon as you touch them, they're gone. And this is the danger spot. <clears throat> with the hook. The work rate is down. The head isn't moving as well, Johnny. Fatigue is starting to set in. Midway through the fight, if you are tired, this can be the loneliest place in the world. If you cheated, now they're going to find out. Counter punch. When are we going to see a jab from these two? <clears throat> it's all offense all the time. Catch and shoot. Can't find a home. This round could go either way. Ten seconds to go. This is the last thing we expected in what a fight. What a style. What a pace to get a unanimous decision. That is mad. This is, I did see it coming. I thought this would be tight. This is nowhere near tight.